the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you came to call us sinners. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you taught us to God as our, call God as our Father. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the merciful and compassionate God who forgives the sins. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life uh, everlasting. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chase, through this chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and the snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and the bread to the one who eats. So shall my words be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will achieving the end for which I sent it, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all their distresses, God rescues the past. From all their distresses, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all my, all distress, my distresses, God rescues the just. Look to him that we may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of whom from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we Forgive those who trespass against us. A lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive you transgressions the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ the gospel passage of today presents the prayer that Jesus himself has taught us, taught to his disciples. Now it was a tradition or it was a custom that every rabbi teaches or gives a prayer for, the, for his followers to say or pray. And Jesus, being a rabbi, he taught the prayer, Our Father, which is considered pattern for all prayers. If we go, to, go into the details, it will take hours to know exactly what Jesus meant. So I would like to highlight just two aspects from the prayer. First, Jesus asked his disciples to call God as our Father. You know, we have heard about it over again and again when we were young. It may not evoke, you know, such feelings in us. Just imagine, Jesus was talking to his Jewish audience. And what was their idea about God? All-powerful, Almighty, no image, no name. You know, in the burning bush, Moses asked, you know, what name, what's your name? What name should I say? God said, I am who am. Now that was their idea. Now Jesus tells them, we can call God as our Father. Once again, not, not my Father, our Father. Now that was a big or a huge change from what the disciples knew. The second aspect, it's about forgiveness. 
God is merciful and compassionate. You know, that is a theme that we find all throughout the scripture. But Jesus tells something more. He says that as we forgive those who wrong against us, our God is ready and willing to forgive our wrongdoings. Once again, Jesus was talking to his Jewish audience. What was their idea about God? You know, through Moses, God gave ten commandments. And he said, if you obey the commandments, you are blessed. When you disobey, you are punished. And we know the history of the people of God. A couple of times, people were sent into exile in order to purify them. But now, Jesus says, that's not God the Father. He is ready and willing to give us a second chance. He is a compassionate and merciful Father. But he puts, I do not say a condition, but he says that we need to forgive one another. If only we forgive our brothers and sisters, we can receive the mercy and compassion from our loving Father. We have begun our London journey. Just partially during this beautiful season. If anyone has offended us, Let's call to mind those events or people or situation and forgive and forget all those from the bottom of our heart so that we can obtain forgiveness and mercy from the one true God who is loving and compassionate. Please rise. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the ladies of the church, we pray to the Lord. Christians all over the world, during this beautiful of season of land, those who have gone away from God may return back a love and experience the mercy from the compassionate God. We pray to the Lord. People all over the world may come to know the one true God who is Father to all. We pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering, especially members of our parish family, we pray to the Lord. For the leaders of the world, that they may work tirelessly to establish justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Patricia, 
Zavarinsky, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring all our prayers and petitions before you. Through the gospel passage of today, your son Jesus Christ taught us to call you the one true God as our Father. As we call you our Father and seek your mercy and forgiveness, grant us the grace that we may forgive the wrongdoings of our brothers and sisters. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May you believe in this wine and water we may come to share. The divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us from our sins. Princesses and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us that it may bring us eternal life. Through Christ uh, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with how the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving things that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in immersion. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co is to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always.
Lamb of God to take away the sin. Lord Jesus, the Son of the Living God, the Bible of the Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. Free me by your most holy body and mind from every evil, and keep me always faithful to the commandments, and never let me depart from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. The prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ uh, our Lord. 
the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration I, Eva, during this beautiful season of Lent. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day.